A lot has changed in car technology in the last 50 years, and among the biggest changes is the advent of ADAS, or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. 94% of accidents are caused by human error. ADAS has been developed to try to limit those errors by assisting or alerting drivers of danger, or even taking preventative action. We're going to take a look at how these systems have evolved and what they mean for servicing vehicles now and into the future. The 1970s marked the rise of the first driver assistance systems, including electronic cruise control and early anti-lock braking systems. Building off of ABS tech, electronic stability control debuted in the 1980s. In the 1990s, the electronics inside vehicles grew more refined, paving way for new features like night vision. The 2000s marked the release of Lane Keep Assist, Forward Collision Warning, Backup Cameras, and Park Assist. Surround View Systems, or 360-degree camera systems, debuted in the 2010s, along with advanced systems like Driver Drowsiness Detection and the first single lane highway autopilot. Moving on to the 2020s, manufacturers are rapidly adding systems to all new vehicles they produce. A host of advanced sensors, cameras, and more now come standard on an ever-growing range of models, from entry level to flagship. In many cars today, all of the hardware is already in place for self-driving, but for now, some human supervision is still required. So what does all of this mean for car owners and service centers? It means less accidents and more peace of mind. But it also means that auto service is more complex than it has ever been. It is estimated new cars have anywhere between 50 and 100 sensors per vehicle, meaning any adjustment, modification, or replacement of tires, wheel alignment, suspension, steering geometry, or windshields probably now requires that radars or cameras be recalibrated as well. Accuracy is important here because sensor misalignment of millimeters can result in the system looking into adjacent lanes. Furthermore, as we continue to push toward fully autonomous vehicles, we will only see the number of sensors per car continue to grow. But as we move forward, it promises to be an exciting and much safer era for the automobile industry.